thinking of moving to Venice, Florida. In this video, we're gonna tell you more about this town and give you a quick tour and breakdown of some of the things you may want to know before making the move. Stay tuned. We're Josh and Liz, helping you live that Florida lifestyle you've been dreaming about. Whether you live in Florida, are planning a vacation, or thinking of moving here one day. So if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our Florida videos. This video is full of information for those of you thinking of moving to Venice, Florida, and to help you become more familiar with it. We've broken it down in sections such as a quick history and overview of the area, some city data, population and cost of living information, uh, neighborhoods, schools, hospitals, and we also have a section where we go through an interactive map that gives you a tour of the area so you can learn about different parts of town, where the things to do are. We also have a neighborhood map specifically to help you to figure out what types of neighborhoods are here and there so that you can become more familiar with the area if you're looking to buy a home here. Feel free to jump around to those different sections however you wish and use this as your ultimate resource for moving to the area. Venice, Florida is a small town located in southwest Florida along the Gulf of Mexico. It's about 15 miles south of Sarasota. For reference, Venice is about 65 miles north of Fort Myers and around 70 miles south of the Tampa and St. Pete area, and you're just a couple hours or so from the Orlando attractions area. The town is known for its historic downtown, laid back lifestyle, stunning beaches, and boating opportunities. It's also known as the shark tooth capital of the world. The area around Venice was originally inhabited by native tribes, and eventually it was discovered by European explorers. In the 1800s, settlers came to the area farming, fishing, and raising livestock. Then, like much of Florida, the area became popular with developers who wanted to build a winter paradise by the beach. Originally called Horse and Chase, the name was changed by a settler, Frank Heigl, because it reminded him of the Italian city where he spent his childhood. Venice was actually one of the first master planned communities as architects were brought in to design a grand town with wide boulevards and architectural standards resembling the Mediterranean, such as Italy and Spain. In the 1960s, the Intracoastal Waterway was dug to connect various bodies of water and allow for more boat access. This increased the pleasure of boating in the area and essentially turned the main historic areas around downtown Venice into an actual island. To this day, Venice is an extremely popular destination for those escaping the cold up north, as well as for retirees and vacationers. It's the lifestyle in Venice that people come here for. It's no wonder Venice is consistently voted as one of the best places to live and retire in the country. At its core, this is a beach town, surrounded by beaches as well as numerous bays and the Intracoastal Waterway. So the town is quite popular for those seeking a coastal lifestyle and those who enjoy water sports and activities such as boating, fishing, kayaking, and so much more. Venice has a small town feel with an active community and vibrant downtown that holds regular events and festivals, especially during the winter season, which is the high season here. In fact, there is a distinct difference in the town between the busy winter season and the slow season the locals really love the most. 
While the town is popular with retirees and snowbirds, families appreciate the great schools in the area as well as a quiet, laid-back atmosphere and an abundance of outdoor activities to stay busy. For a small town, there are a surprising number of things to do in Venice and in the nearby area, from beaches, local parks, and state parks, waterfront restaurants, tiki bars, golf courses, and wildlife watching. And you're just a short drive from places such as Sarasota and other major cities and attractions. For more details about all the things you can do here in Venice, check out our video. Many people come to Venice for the weather. Venice has a humid, subtropical climate. There is a distinct difference in the weather during the rainy season from June through September and the dry season from October through May. The summers are hot and really humid with daily thunderstorms. August is the hottest month with an average high temperature of 91 degrees and a low of 73. The winters here are mild and dry. January is the coldest month with a high of 72 and a low of 51. During the winter months, there may be a few sub-freezing nights and an occasional frost. Overall, it can get chilly enough in the winter to wear sweaters and coats, but it's usually short-lived and it could be 70 degrees the next week or even the next day. Venice has a population just over 25,000. The average age here is in the 60s because it has historically been more of a retirement town. However, there are plenty of families who live in Venice and they enjoy a great quality of life with safe neighborhoods, good schools, and a smaller community feel than what you'll find in a larger city. In fact, more and more young people and families are being attracted to this area due to the lifestyle it offers. The cost of living in Venice is slightly higher than the U.S. average, but slightly lower than the Florida average cost of living. Housing and grocery costs in Venice tend to be higher than both the Florida and U.S. averages. In fact, these two costs really make up the biggest difference in Venice when it comes to the cost of living. While utilities and transportation are lower than the national and state averages. When compared to nearby Sarasota, the average cost of living in Venice is just slightly lower and most of that is due to the housing costs. Venice is a part of the Sarasota school system, which is known as one of the top school systems in Florida. In fact, it's only one of two school districts in Florida that have always received an A rating for the district since they started doing the ratings back in 2004. And more than 60% of the teachers in Sarasota County hold master's degrees or higher. Then there's also Pineview School, which is located in Osprey, just north of Venice. This is actually a charter school specifically for high performing students ranging from 2nd through 12th grade, and in 2004, it was named the top school in Florida and the 6th top school in the country. Healthcare is a top industry in Sarasota County, and there are two hospitals in Venice. Shorepoint Health, which is on the island near downtown Venice, and Sarasota Memorial Hospital, which is based up in Sarasota, but they just recently opened a massive state-of-the-art facility here in Venice. When it comes to flying in and out of the area, you have a few options. There is an airport in Venice, but it's small and does not have commercial flights. However, there are multiple airports within an hour or so from Venice, so you can actually shop around depending on the airline and destination to find the best flights. 
popular airports in the area include Sarasota Bradenton, Fort Myers, Tampa and St. Pete, and also Punta Gorda has a small airport with some discount airlines. As with much of Southwest Florida, a lot of the development and urban areas are nestled along the coastline. When moving inland, things become more rural and less developed, although growth is pushing new development out into these areas. The main historic downtown area of Venice is located on Venice Island. This is where you'll find a lot of the boutique shops and restaurants, as well as many local events. There's a lot to do on the island, and popular sites include the South Jetty, Venice Beach, Venice Fishing Pier, and the famous Sharky's Restaurant on the pier. There's also the Brohard Beach area and the Brohard Dog Beach, which is the only dog beach in Sarasota County. And there's also Casperson Beach, which is famous for shark tooth hunting, although you can actually find shark teeth on all the beaches in the area. There are also multiple marinas around the island, including places where you can rent boats and boat launches into the waters and the bays and the intracoastal waterway. Highway 41, also known as the Tamiami Trail because it goes all the way from Tampa to Miami, runs right through the heart of Venice. You can take it north to Sarasota or south toward Northport and Port Charlotte. The main commercial areas in Venice where you can find shopping and dining are on the island as well as along Highway 41. Other major roads in Venice include East Venice Avenue, Center Road, and Jacaranda. Overall, you won't find a ton of chain restaurants and stores in Venice because it's still a smaller town, but it is growing. You will find a Walmart, a Target, and various shopping centers where you can find stores such as TJ Maxx and Marshalls. There are also a few fast food chains around town as well. For other major shopping needs, you can travel up north to Sarasota and especially the UTC Mall area, which is massive and has absolutely everything you could need. Laurel Road in the north part of Venice is actually becoming more developed as well. And right at the Laurel Road and I-75 interchange is where the brand new Sarasota Memorial Hospital was just built. You should also know that Interstate 75, which goes north to Sarasota and Tampa, and south to Fort Myers and Naples, is actually about 10 to 15 minutes away from downtown Venice. So keep this in mind if you prefer to live closer to the interstate for easy commuting. If you want to explore more of Venice and get a feel for the area, we made a great interactive map. You can click around the map and explore to find where things are located right from your computer. And if you come here to Venice for a visit, then you can use this map as a bit of a driving tour so that you can self explore when you're here. So check out that link below to access the map or visit our website. There are a number of different neighborhoods in Venice, each suited to a different lifestyle and budget. Those who want the historic charm and walkable island life may prefer to live on Venice Island. Others might prefer gated resort style communities. There are also a number of great golf course communities around town and some laid back non HOA communities as well. You might even be looking for direct water and beach access. We actually have a number of videos about different neighborhoods in Venice, including popular family neighborhoods, golf communities, and more. So be sure to check those out or click on the link below in the description. Okay, let's take a quick minute to dive a little deeper into these neighborhoods around Venice. As Josh mentioned, there are many great neighborhoods around Venice at varying price points and styles. Living on the island is highly sought after because of the lifestyle. You can easily walk, 
ride your bike, or golf cart to many shops and restaurants, as well as multiple beaches. This is where you'll find a number of the historic homes and neighborhoods without deed restrictions. However, living on the island is definitely more expensive. There are a few other non-deed restricted and low HOA communities around Venice. South Venice is probably the most popular because it's west of the trail, Highway 41, and it even has water access in the neighborhood and has its own beach. And if you haven't already, be sure to check out the video that we did about South Venice if you want to know more. There's also Venice Gardens, which is great because most houses have lake views, and again, there's a very low optional HOA. There's also Venice East and a few other pocket neighborhoods around town. You'll also find a number of small gated and non-gated HOA neighborhoods throughout Venice. If you just drive around, you'll find all these little pocket neighborhoods throughout the town. If you're looking for newer construction and a more resort style community, then you'll find a lot of that in areas east of downtown near the interstate, especially along Border Road where you'll find communities such as Aria and Milano, and also in North Venice around Laurel Road. This is where you'll find Toscana Isles, and even a bit further north, you'll find fantastic communities such as Talon Preserve. There are also areas even further east of downtown Venice, near the Mayaka River, at the end of East Venice Avenue and Center Road. This is near the intersections with River Road, and where you'll find neighborhoods such as Stony Brook and Grand Palm. Then there's Welland Park. Located southeast of Venice along Highway 41, going toward Northport, this is a huge development, similar to Lakewood Ranch up in Sarasota. They're gonna have more than 14 different neighborhood communities, and some have already been built, but a lot of them are just beginning construction. And there's going to be a whole new Welland Park downtown area with a lake, dining, shopping, and all kinds of fun stuff opening up within the next year. So there's quite a lot of development going on in this area, and there will be for years to come. If you haven't already, be sure to check out our video all about Welland Park if you want to know more. And if you're looking to take some time to explore these different neighborhoods and kind of see where they are on the map and what they have, we also built a great interactive map for neighborhoods in Venice where we've pinned a lot of these areas and you can click on them to view photos and have links where you can find more information and even search homes for sale so you can get an idea of the pricing and what types of homes are out there. There is a lot of demand for homes in Venice and the market is still strong. New construction homes are available but can be a challenge to snag due to the demand. And the build time can be roughly a year out just depending on the project. You will always find plenty of resale homes including some fairly new homes in these newer developments. There are also a lot of older homes around town from historic homes to charming bungalows to ranch style homes from the 60s and 70s that are coming back into style by the way. Yeah. You can also find large estate homes here as well but villas and condos are really popular due to the easier maintenance of them. Here are my top tips if you're looking to buy a home. So the first thing, know what type of home you want. Whether it's a condo, villa, new construction, or remodel, knowing and having a game plan is key. Next, decide what type of community works best for the lifestyle you want and within your budget. Remember and consider HOA and CDD fees at some of these larger resort communities. Then, narrow down where in town you want to be and even specific neighborhoods you want to be in. Then, we can go after it. And, it really helps to have a great local realtor like myself who knows the area, who knows the market, who knows the neighborhoods, and who's actually on the ground, who can go and check out these homes for you 
And don't worry, if you're out of town, that's fine. I often do a lot of video walkthroughs with my clients. A lot of my clients are actually out of town, out of state, and some are even out of the country. So feel free to give me a call if you want to chat more about what you are looking for, and let's go find it for you. I know we've covered a lot of information here, but feel free to visit our Venice relocation guide on our website for even more details and download a PDF copy for your own reference. So be sure to check on those links below. We hope you found this relocation guide to Venice helpful and useful. If you have any additional questions, feel free to reach out or leave a comment below. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more videos. Until next time, keep dreaming about that Florida life.